Welcome to a new video on my Linux PCI driver series. Today we will learn how to access the configuration space of a PCI or PCI Express device from a Linux PCI driver. But first let's talk about what the configuration space is. Well, on a PCI or PCI Express device there are three different types of address space. The first one is the configuration space and then we have the memory or I.O. space. And the configuration space, as its name applied, is the address space to configure the PCI device and to get information about the PCI device. And the first 64 bit of the configuration space it has always the same format. And this format is the so-called PCI header or PCI configuration space header. So now let's take a look at the PCI configuration space header. So here you can see it. Here we have the offsets and here we have the various bit fields. So here at address 0 we have two words. The first one containing the vendor and the second one containing the device ID. And these are exactly the vendor and device ID which we have used for our um, compatible probing string. So behind these two offsets we have the vendor and device ID. And for example here in command we have some we can configure the device a little bit. For example we can turn um, access to I.O. or memory space on and off for example. And down here we have a block of registers, the so-called base address registers, and these registers give us the opportunity to map the memory or I.O. space of a PCI device into the memory map of our PC. And down here we have the cap capability pointer, and because only the first 64 bytes of the configuration space are um, standardized, but after that we have the capabilities. And this pointer points to zero, in this case we don't have any capabilities, or it points to an offset in the configuration space, and then we can find the capabilities there. And possible capabilities are, for example, advanced error reporting capability, or if the card has special um, interrupts, we have some interrupt capabilities, there can be custom capabilities too, to configure custom things. And for example, if we have a PCI Express device, we can tell it from the capabilities, because a PCI Express device always has the PCI Express capability. And we can find the capabilities over this pointer at offset 34 hexadecimal. Down here we have some interrupt informations, latencies and so on. So you can see the configuration space really gives us some um, ability to configure the, the device and we can get information about the device. So now let's take a look how we can access the configuration space from within our device driver. So here I'm connected to my um, PC where I have put in my PCI GPIO card and now let me cd into our um, source folder. So here we have the make file and our simple hello world PCI driver from our last session. So let's open it up. So this is just a simple hello world um, Linux uh, PCI driver. Here we have our compatible um, IDs, so we are compatible with the device with this vendor and this device ID. Here we have a probe function and a remove function. Here we are defining our drivers struct. And here we have the initialize function, which when called searches for all PCI devices, which are defined in this um, compatible table, ID tables here. And for every found device, we will call the probe function and when we unload the device the exit function will be called and for every registered device we will call the remove function and that's it. So now let's add a little bit of code here in the probe function because I want to access the configuration space from here. First I will need some variables 
So here we have two variables for the vendor and device ID. Then I will have a variable for the capability pointer here. And I will read out bar zero. And I will need a second variable I will call saved bar zero. So first, let's read the PCIe vendor and device ID. Okay. And to access the configuration space, all we have to do is we have to call the function PCI, read, config, and then the type how we want to access. In this, here I want to read a word. The first argument is our PCI def struct, which is def here. The second argument is the offset, which will be zero here. And the last argument is the variable where we want to store the red value. And here I will choose my vendor ID. And the return value is zero on success and um, an error co co code on failure. So in case this returns um, not zero, I will print out error reading from config space. Okay. Yeah, and let's return minus one here. But if this works, I will print out the value. So mvid and I will print it out as a hexadecimal string. Okay. So now let's do the same for the device ID. So here we need the offset two. Now our variable is device ID. And in case of success, yeah, that's it. Okay, so much for a word read. Now let's do a byte read. And this is quite simple. Read the PCI capability pointer. So let's see if our device has some capabilities. So let me copy these three lines here, or these five lines here. Okay. Now I will use PCI read config byte. The offset is now 34 hexadecimal, and I want to save it in capability pointer. And here print. So if capability pointer is bigger than um, one or bigger than zero, we have PCI card has capabilities and else doesn't have capabilities. Okay. Okay. And now I have shown you how to read from the config space, but what's about writing to config space? Well, therefore I will try to read out the base address register zero, and I will try to determine the size of the base register. I've made a more detailed video if you're interested in how to get the size, but here I will focus more on the reading and writing here. So let me again copy these five, four lines here. So now I will read a double word, a D word. I will read from offset 10, which is base, the offset of base re address register zero. And I will save it in bar zero. Okay, now I will set my bar, save bar zero to bar zero. So I can restore the value. And now to write back the value, I need to execute the function PCI write config byte, config dword, and again the PCI device we want to write to the offset and the last um, or the last argument here is the value we want to write. And in case of error, I will say error writing from to config space. Yeah. And here let's determine the bar size. So first 
what I will do here is first I will write all ones to bar zero and some bits are hardwired to zero so now let's read it again okay okay then I will clear or first I will check if we have config or um, if we have IO memory space so therefore I will use bar zero and free equals one so in this case we have IO space bar zero is IO space else bar zero is memory space okay and now I will clear um, the first two bits then I will invert the whole thing and I will add a 1 to it and after this we will get the size of the bar so bar 0 is d bytes big and here we have bar 0 okay so this is how to read and to write to config space and now let's try it so let me try to compile the program and let's see how much mistakes I have made okay okay I have, I have just a typo here so up here it should be capability pointer ability yeah okay let's build it again <laughs> okay yeah here I have the same typo Okay, but hopefully now we are able to build it. Okay, so now let's load it. So in small PCI TTL32KO and now let's check the kernel slug. Here and we can see our vendor ID is this value as expected. The PCI card doesn't have any capabilities. Okay, the bar zero is memory space. Yeah, that's true. And the size of bar two is 256 bytes. Okay, so let's double check this by using less PCI. And here we see, okay, yeah. Region, so our first bar is memory and it's 32 bit and the size is this here. So yeah, everything worked just fine. Okay, so that's how to access the configuration space of a PCI or PCI Express device from a Linux kernel module. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. If you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com slash Johannes for Linux. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.